To lead, one has to go to the ragged edge of the performance envelope in the real world, not the lab. This is the space we inhabit to pioneer and innovate performance fat adaptation. Competition. This is a key reason we pioneer and lead in fat adapted performance. Honest competition leads to development, insights, and understanding on how we can be and do better, how we can raise the bar. Now we can see the advancements in our vehicles with technologies from Formula One and MotoGP, but sadly, human health has actually declined in spite of athletic competition. We are changing that, my team and I, and also most of all my athletes that I work with, because we've been leading that change for over 20 years with the radical notion that fat is your main fuel for performance athletics of all kinds. But more than a concept, we have developed and proven the concept time after time at the highest and most demanding levels of human competition. To lead, one has to go to the ragged edge of the performance envelope in the real world, not the lab. And this is the space we inhabit to pioneer and innovate performance fat adaptation. This is where OFM fat adapted athletes using VESPA compete and win at the very highest levels of any type of competition from figure skating all the way up to 24 hour and multi-day events. And working with these athletes to gain insights as well as being guinea pig numero uno, I've pioneered the development of a comprehensive set of protocols to optimize fat metabolism. But this is more than performance. And that's because optimal fat metabolism yields optimal metabolic health. My approach and philosophy has always been that the healthiest athlete consistently trains and competes best. And don't let any expert or credentialed person fool you into thinking chronic consumption of carbohydrates is necessary or teaching your gut how to consume more calories during exercise is a good idea no matter how much science. It is all sugar at the end of the day folks and you don't need any expert to tell you consuming a lot of sugar is a good idea. You know better. Almost all the resources in researching healthcare and disease prevention go to studying how to treat those diseases and, and those who are unwell, studying those who are unwell, unhealthy, sick and frail. Do you really think that optimal health and wellness advice is going to come from an approach that only looks at disease states instead of also looking at why truly healthy people never develop these diseases in the first place. Think about that and ask yourself, wouldn't you want to get your health information from those on the cutting edge of human health and performance? The very people who train the low carb diet cohort of the athletes that led to the groundbreaking faster study? Or more relevantly, wouldn't you want to get your information guidance from those who have helped people, athletes like Jeff, Beth, Bart, Diane, or Carlos? Look them up. These people who enjoy robust health and stay at the top of their game no matter what their age, so you too can attain higher health and peak performance. And that's the other reason our athletes and ambassadors compete. You. Because when they win, we all win. <laughs>